One of the biggest enemies of the cyclist is wind resistance. But one way to get round it is to drop into another rider's slipstream using a technique known as drafting. Getting this skill dialed in will not only help you stay with faster riders on flat roads, but it's also the main reason why groups of cyclists can travel so much faster together as you save vast amounts of valuable energy. Sitting behind in the slipstream of the rider in front saves the rider behind about a third of the energy, a quite incredible amount. I've got 320 on ESI. Uh, my Garmin saying 260. And that's one of the main reasons a bunch can move along at such high speeds. So the rider in front can do a short, intense burst of effort and is then replaced by a rider who's fresher and can do exactly the same effort all over again, meaning that they can travel at a speed that's probably unsustainable for one rider on their own. To get the most from the slipstreaming effect, you need to be tucked in nice and closely to the rider behind. Now the closer you are, the better, as the further you drop off the wheel, the less assistance you'll get from the slipstream itself. So really experienced riders can ride just a couple of centimetres away from the wheel in front of them. A great example of that in action is watching a pro road race right in the finale or the team pursuit on the track. However, the margin for error here is minuscule, so you should always ride within the confines of your own skill level and that of the rider in front of you. So with that in mind, I'm just going to back off Matt and shave. So you should always start off at a distance you feel comfortable and confident with. And then over time, as your confidence builds, you can reduce that gap. Yeah, and if you're quite new to the sport, a good distance to start off with is around a metre and a metre and a half to the wheel in front. And then you can just build up the distance and get closer to the wheel over time. But remember, it's really important not just to focus and look at the wheel in front. Make sure you look up and forwards so you're fully aware of what's going on around you so you can react to any hazards in good time. Sidewinds will affect the slipstreaming, so you need to alter where you sit behind the rider in front to maximise the efficiency available. Now, it's very rare that out on the open road, the wind will be coming directly from the front or the back, so you need to constantly adapt your position to make the most of the slipstreaming effect. Now, it's not something that all riders are aware of, but you should be, because otherwise, you're simply wasting effort that you could be saving. So, should the wind be coming from the right-hand side when you step behind the rider in front, you need to sit just to the left of their back wheel. And conversely, should the wind come from the left, you then need to swing to the right-hand side so you're protected here too. Now, this is actually how echelons are formed. And you might actually move further to the right or start to overlap the wheel depending on how much the wind swings round. And now for the science. A slipstream is essentially a pocket of turbulent air that is created as an object cuts through the air. One cyclist riding in front of another creates a low pressure vortex behind them, meaning it's easier for the cyclist behind as there's less resistance to push through. And in addition, there's actually air that moves alongside the rider, helping to push them forwards. Good science, man. Good science, man. So watch the wind direction and stay as tight as you reasonably and safely can. And you'll go faster and save energy. What's not to like? Absolutely. Remember, you should always, always think about which direction the wind is coming from. And to take your going fast skills even further, how about you click up here to go faster for free at no cost to yourself. It is free. Also, down here, to get some more tips on how to ride in a group, because there are a few more things that you do need to think about to do it safely, just click down there. There's an excellent video showing you how to do that. Yeah, and to subscribe to GCN, how about clicking on this lovely green pasture? In fact, Cy, si, I think green's my new favourite colour. I'm not surprised. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Click on Austria to subscribe to GCN. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So we go for a lie down? Yeah. Well, separately, of course. You know, just, just like have a bit of a rest. I know we're not in Switzerland, but I feel a bit like something out of Sound of Music right now. 
Yeah, only do, you for, lead, do you want to lead us in that rendition? Uh, maybe another time, Si. Oh, hills. No, that's it, lot. Okay, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wobbly arm. You got a wobbly sorry arm. <laughs> you have to do two handed. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. 